नमस्ते स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर इन क्लास 8 दैट इज मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स ओके नाउ एवरीथिंग अराउंड अस इज मेड अप ऑफ वन और अनदर टाइप्स ऑफ मेटल नाउ व्हाट आर दोस मेटर अ प्योर सब्सटेंस और मैटर व्हिच इज मेड अप ऑफ सेम टाइप ऑफ एटम दे आर कॉल्ड एलिमेंट्स सो आवर एनवायरमेंट और एवरीथिंग अराउंड अस इज मेड अप ऑफ वन और मोर टाइप्स ऑफ एलिमेंट्स नाउ हाउ आर दे क्लासिफाइड और हाउ आर दे कैटेगराइज्ड इनटू डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स elements are broadly classified into three category on the basis of their physical and chemical property so by studying their physical chemical property the elements are basically categorized into three category one is your metals second is your non metals and the third one is your metalloids now let us see how these elements are found in nature in occurrence of elements so as you know that there are two types of elements so first of all let us take the example of metals so what about natural abundance means uh, the amount of the substance in nature so among all the metals aluminium is the most abundant metal and the second is your iron but you will find that iron is produced in more amount as compared to aluminium the reason behind it is it is easier to uh, extract iron from its ore as compared to aluminium we will discuss about this in the coming topics the next type is types of metals so on the basis of reactivity a metal is divided into two type one is highly reactive metals like sodium zinc aluminum potassium calcium they are found in their compound because they will react with other substances or other elements and form their compounds but there are also metals like copper gold silver they are found in their native form or elemental form why because they are very reactive uh, very less reactive so they will not react with other elements okay now let us see what about non metals how they are found in nature so first of all let, let us take its natural abundance means the amount of the substance in nature so among all the non metals oxygen is the most abundant non metal and the second is your silicon okay in the earth crust so among all the non metals oxygen is the most abundant and the second is your silicon so now let us see what are the types of non metals metals non metals there are of various type first many non metals are found in their free state in atmosphere for example oxygen nitrogen neon why because uh, they are present in the gaseous form so they are generally found in the free state now some non metals can also exist in the form of oxide nitrate sulfate why because they are reactive so they will react with other substance and form compounds some metals they are found in their native form or unreacted uh, native form or as well as in combined state for example we are having sulfur powder we are having carbon powder also but these carbon and sulfur they are reactive so they will react with other compound and form sulfate sulfur dioxide again carbon uh, carbon carbon dioxide carbon monoxide okay so these are the way by which metals and non metals they are found in nature now let us see what are called minerals and what are called ores so what are called minerals the elements or compound which occurs naturally in the earth crust they are called minerals okay so any compound which is found in the earth crust can be considered as a minerals okay now what are called ores those minerals from which metal can be profitably extracted they are called ores for example ore of aluminum is a bauxite iron for is a hematite so there are various minerals or various compounds of elements but only those compounds from which metal can be easily and profitably extracted they are known as ores okay so you will find various compounds of the elements but only few compounds can be regarded as ores because from that it is easier to extract that particular element mostly we are talking about here extraction of metal atom metal atom okay so now how this is extracted the step wise process of extraction of metal from its ore is known as metallurgy so the process by which the metals are extracted from its ore that is known as your metallurgy okay so it is not a single process rather it is a very complicated long process by which metals are metal are extracted from its ores now let us see how the extraction of metal occurs from the ores so extraction of metal from its ores may need about three steps the first step is concentration of ore okay then what is the concentration of ore the process by which the removal of impurities like water sand clay sulfur and other metals which are present in ores are removed that is known as your concentration of ore okay so what happen you will find that these ores are present in the earth crust so it is found in uh, associated with impurities like water sand clay sulfur these are associated with and the process by which 
these impurities are removed from that ore that is known as your concentration of ore. Now what about the next step that is reduction of metal. So in this process what happens you will find that the metal ore is reduced to get the pure metal. Okay. So in this uh, process what you will find that the metals is uh, removed from its oxide or ore form. Okay. And this is the second step in extraction of metal from its ore. Now the metal obtained during this process it is still associated with some impurities. So that impurities can be purified by the third step that is known as refining of metals. So the process by which purification of impure metal to get pure metal is known as refining of metals. Okay. So what happened? Whatever metal that is obtained from the step 2 that is uh, say 90% pure or 80% pure. So what about the rest of the 20% in order to get a pure substance they are refined and this refining remove the left impurities present in the metals and this process is known as your refining of metals. Okay. Now here are the questions the related to the topics which we discuss. Please go through these questions and I write the answers of this question in your homework notebook. Thank you.